Scientists say there's something blocking Yellowstone's supervolcano. there's something stopping it from erupting. Researchers have found evidence that a giant cap of magma could be stopping the eruption of Yellowstone National Park supervolcano. As detailed in a paper published in the journal Nature last month, a team of researchers found a volatile rich layer just 2.36 miles below the surface, trapping pressure and heat beneath it. In fact, researchers believe that the blockage may be what's preventing the volcanic system from erupting, an eruption that has happened several times before in our planet's history, and one that could have devastating consequences for civilization if it were to happen again. For decades, we've known that there's magma beneath Yellowstone, but the exact depth and structure of its upper boundary have been big questions. Brandon Schmant, one of the team's leaders and a professor of Earth, Environmental and Planetary Sciences at Rice University, said in a statement. What we found is that this reservoir is not capped. It's been there for a few million years, but it's still dynamic. To map the subsurface in the area, Schmant and his colleagues deployed a Vibrosius truck, a large vehicle conventionally used for oil and gas exploration that generates small earthquakes by shooting seismic waves into the ground. The data revealed a sharp boundary at a depth of more than two miles below the surface, indicating significant irregularities at the top of the magma reservoir lurking beneath Yellowstone's volcanic system. To see such a strong reflector at that depth was really surprising, Schmatt said. That tells us that something physically different is going on there. Possibly a buildup of partially melted rock interspersed with gas bubbles.
Through computer simulations, the team found that most of the gases, such as steam and carbon dioxide, are trapped. And something is stopping them from bubbling explosively to the surface by letting them drip out. Although we detected a layer rich in volatiles, the bubble and melt content was below the levels typically associated with an imminent eruption, Schmant explained. Instead, it appears that the system is efficiently venting gas through cracks and channels between mineral crystals. Which makes sense to me, given Yellowstone's abundant hydrothermal features that emit magmatic gases. The team hopes their research will lead to new ways to monitor volcanic activity, potentially allowing scientists to get early warning signs of an impending eruption. Being able to visualize what's going on underground is important for everything from geothermal energy to carbon dioxide storage, Schmant said in a statement.